We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today I finally get to dive in and start my coverage of Tales of Arise. It is by Bandai Namco and it released on September 9th, 2021. I'm still endeavoring, trying my very best to get a hold of, reach out, and contact Bandai Namco. Hopefully, being able to work with them in the future. But this was a Christmas present from uh, Papa and Mama McSquiggums. So good times all around, guys and gals. Let's dive in. Let's begin our adventure. I have no way of changing any settings yet. So when I am able to adjust the volumes to the appropriate level, I will do so. Let's see what we're getting into. Oh, well, would you look at that? There's just a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, all right, folks, I went through. I set all the settings the way I want it. Let's get to it. Or at least a lot of it defaulted, and we'll figure out if we need to change it later. In ages long past, it was believed that Mother Dana was indestructible and everlasting. Rena, on the other hand, was thought to be the domain of the gods, a paradise where the souls of the departed could rest forevermore. Oh, how wrong we were. In the face of Rena's unimaginable technology, its soldiers clad in huge, shining armor, and its fearsome beasts known as Zoogles, the prosperity and bounty of Dana all but disappeared overnight. That was 300 years ago. The world of Dana fell under Renin rule, and its new masters split the land into five distinct realms. And now today, Orbis Calaglia, one of the Renin's five realms. It is ruled over by the tyrant Balsef, Lord of the Firemaster Corps. Unrelenting fire scorches this barren wasteland. Dust storms course over the rocks and crags, and no relief is to be found from the oppressive heat. The Danon people toil as slaves. Day after day they suffer, under the ruthless oppression of the Renin soldiers, with only one hope of escape. Death. Only in death is their agony finally brought to an end. They have forgotten what it means to be free. So complete is the Renin's domination. Well, I mean, 300 years is a long time. So, yeah, I imagine they would have forgotten. Bleak as ever. Things are always bleak in every game ever, so, yep. That tracks. Hmm. Hurry up! Yeah. How? You call that pushing? Put some back into it, embedded! Huh. <gasps> Who dis? Uh, Iron Mask? Paralyzed Iron Mask. Why you? Let me. Huh. What is this? Some kind of slave support group? Mind your own business, you work All right, third squad! Time to regroup! Hmm. <laughs> Go on, get moving! Hey, wait for me! 
Weird? Thank you, Iron Mask. How does he eat? That's okay, Cole. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Iron Mask, you... you're bleeding. Hm? We need to get you looked at by Doc. That bad, huh? Better safe than sorry, I suppose. He, he didn't know that he was bleeding? Hmm. Ask Doc to treat you. Alright, ladies and gentlefolk. We are here now. It is time. Destination or destination is marked with the star symbol and the number is the distance to it. Hey, we move around. Uh, hey, no loitering embedded. The name's Iron Mask, apparently. What's up, kid? I'm so sorry, Iron Mask. You got hurt because of me. Don't sweat it, kid. It's not like I felt anything. But that's why Doc tells you to be extra careful, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, well, okay, I guess that answers the uh, question he didn't realize, okay. But, yeah, but at the end of the day, I chose to stick my neck out for you, and I don't regret a thing. So don't sweat it, uh, Cole, okay? Uh, okay, thanks, Iron Mask. So how does he eat? <sighs> I doubt Doc's gonna like what he sees. Or see. How does he, how does any of this work? Very confused. I have so many questions. I need to have Doc check me out first. Apparently I can't walk over to that, that green thing. Hey Doc, how's it going buddy? Ah, you again. Yeah, me again. Sorry to trouble you, Doc. Hmm. Look after yourself and there'd be no need for sorries, would there? Now sit. It's fair. So, still unable to remember anything, I take it? Blank as always. Nothing but that strange dream. No face, no memories. Unable to feel pain, yet only too eager to take on everybody else's. Well, I mean, we can't What feel it. will we do with you? Here, let me see. Uh, apparently patched me up a lot, uh, it seems. You may not be able to feel pain, but that doesn't mean you can't be wounded, just like everyone else. If you're not more careful, You'll wind up dead without even realizing it one of these days. I watched another slave die today. More corpses than I care to count. Unfortunately, that's hardly a rare sight around these parts. Danons are always dying, and the Renans just watch. How long can this continue? Why doesn't anyone stand and fight? Keep your voice down, will you? Probably because they got subjugated 300 uh, years ago and lost their will. If to only it were so simple, my friend. There have certainly been uprisings, all right. Three centuries worth of the damn things. Yeah. As for all the good they've done, take a look around and judge for yourself. <laughs> there. That should just about do it. Now, do me a favor and try to stay out of trouble so the wound doesn't open again. Doc, back when I knew nothing, you were the one who taught me just how things work around here. You know I'll always be grateful for that. But I can't just... The race is won by the calm and the steady. You're still young. You have time. Wait okay. for the right moment. Both for yourself and the world. Spare too. Work will be wrapping up for the day soon enough. Don't sit around here. Go out and feel the breeze against your skin. Even a slave's entitled to that. S something. Just do me a favor and keep a low profile, all right? You stand out enough in that mask as it is. Huh. Guess I'll go back to my room. Uh, rest in your assigned bed. Uh, are you okay? Thanks for saving me earlier. Did you remove your shirt? Or did you just not have a shirt on before? I could have sworn you did. The bright eyes stick these weird stones in our bodies and work us to the bone until we're dead. And as if the routine beatings from them weren't enough, when they're in a really bad mood, they like to stick their zeagles, zwagles on us. Zeagles. I'm a slave. I'm a slave. Just like everyone else here. Yeah, you are. 
So how come I don't have a spirit core? Yeah, you don't have the stone. Or face, or memories for that matter. <sighs> Not like worrying about it will yeah, change anything. In the upper right corner of the screen shows information about press to full size. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. What's up, man? What are you doing? Nobody said you could wander around embedded. Hello. No loitering allowed, you wretched slave. Hey. Okay. We can jump. That's a weird button for jump, but it's fine. What you doing there, buddy? First day with the new feet? Can't figure out the. Oh, oh, there you go. You're welcome. <sighs> what are you looking at? You looking to get your butt kicked too? <laughs> Don't threaten me. No. They're not moving. Dang it. Another one dead. Yeah, it's not great. Why are you laughing? Every last one of you embedded will die, and then we can do whatever we want with you. Now burn. Er. Alright. Yep, some seriously bad Juju Magumbo's going on. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is, this is real dire, man. This is super bleak. Get to bed, embedded, now. Alright, well, I guess some sort of superpower is gonna kind of unfold from us. <sighs> no matter how tired you get of seeing them, you can always find Rena and Lenigus hanging up in the sky. I hate it. It's like they're watching over us, keeping an eye on our every move. That Lenigus especially is something else. There's no way we can ever hope to beat the Renans when they can build floating castles like that. <sighs> floating castle, huh? Uh, did I give you permission to walk off the job? Embedded? I don't think so. Nice people, really. Ever wonder what those bright eyes like to burn all over the place? I'll tell you, it's the fuel they make us mine for. There's no reason for us to do it. Once we do, they just take and light it up. That's why it's hotter than hell in here. That's not great, if that's true. Listen, whatever the bastages do to you, don't even think about trying to fight back against the bright eyes. Got it? I know, I know. Not like any of us have a chance in hell of ever beating one of those soldiers or their Zweggles, let alone a Balsif. Shh, don't talk about this in public, you two. Who knows what they'll do if they hear you guys. Well, not good stuff, I would have to assume. Oh, what's happening now? What are you trying to do? No approach in the water without permission embedded. Oh. Sorry. Can it wait, Iron Mask? I'm trying to catch a little shut eye over here. Oh, sorry, man. I should get some rest. Oh okay. yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I wonder how many people have slept in this bed before me. Mine for now, but for how long? Tomorrow's another day. I guess I should get some shut eye. That's not somber music. I better head to work. So I've got business with the freight train today, huh? Great. I feel like that was uh, definitely out of place. Get to your position now, embedded. What are you doing? You better go get to your assigned position before the bright eyes beat you. They don't seem to have no person wanted that permission. They don't seem to have bright eyes. What's up, man? We have to get going. You're on freight hauling duty today. Yeah, I am. Just like every day, trying to take over the world. Quit wasting time, get to your position. Great. Time to start another day toiling away for the Renans. All right, Renans. Am I going to do this until the day I die? Probably. Don't talk to me. Nope.
All right, looks like this is, uh, this is where we're at. Look lively, slaves. Let's see some work around here. Sure. Again, how do we see? Couldn't they burn the coal for the fuel to make the trains move? Why are we pushing? It? Oh. Oh, what the heck is that? Happen to nicer folks. Probably. Grenar! <laughs> Who this? Is she okay? Zephyr! She's here! Who is she? Why is she here? Oh, what are you gonna do with the shovel, dude? Yeah. Oh, what what kind of shovel is that? Oh, that's a bad idea. What the hell? Maybe don't touch her, I guess? That doesn't seem safe. The girl's nowhere to be found. <sighs> this hurts. Hey, Bennett, did you find anything? Not yet, sir. What do they expect from us on such short notice? <laughs> uh, okay, we apparently found her. Hey, you're... <laughs> That's a lot of trouble, you know. Now we can do this the easy way or not. <laughs> oh, that was a heck of a move. Oh, okay. We just hijacked the train. It's just you. This seems unsafe. Not literally right in the Is it? Why is it There's more coming. The way you go. Hope you can jump. Huh? Uh -oh. oh no. Ah! Well, 
that was intense. Huh. You all missed your chance to become Lord. Yeah. Which means you lot live and die for me, the mighty Balsaf! Got that through your skulls? Now hurry up and bring me Shion! Yes, yes, sir! Shion. <laughs> Even the drinks lost its appeal. Someone's in a bad mood. Do you have a tail? Lord O'Wolsey, ruler of Orbis Calaglia. Ah, but it's wild beast you prefer, isn't it? Do forgive me. Ganabelt Valkyris, what do you want? From what I hear, you seem to be having some trouble over there in Calaglia. As a fellow lord, I merely thought to ask whether I could be of any assistance to you. Enough with the false pretense. I can tell a rat when it's sniffing around. Mm. Forgive me, I can only imagine the emotional toll failing to ascend the throne not once but twice must take. A most distressing state of affairs. Shut up! It's none of your concern. The crown contest is proceeding apace, and so quickly, I must say. It won't be long before the victor is crowned as the new sovereign. I look forward to it, and you can be sure I won't forget our little chat. Nor will I. Until next time. Okay. Okay, not a big fan of drinking out of stuff, I guess. Guess that's our weird dream. Where? You awake? Who are you? The name's Tilsa. I'm the medical officer for the Crimson Crows. You're in one of our safe houses. Crimson Crows? Sure. Don't tell me you've never heard of us. We're the Resistance, for the Danon people. We get in the way of the Bright Eyes' best laid plans. The Danon Resistance? I didn't know such a thing existed. Oh, we exist all right. Though I guess we're not as famous as I thought we were. Seems like I know more about you than the other way around, Mr. Iron Mask. Hmm. Some distance Is it here. true you can't take that thing off? Yeah. Worse is that I don't even know why I'm wearing it. Huh. That woman I was with. Oh, yeah. She's quite the character, isn't she? Zephyr should be interrogating her over in the slammer as we speak. You locked her up? Why? Why? Go take a look for yourself if you're so interested. Sure. That voice does not... They're interrogating you? right. Just what the hell is going on? I don't know, man. I need to go and find out for myself. Bring up help. Oh, interesting. Cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to break it off right here. This is going to be where we end our episodic episode. And we'll continue to explore and go figure out what's going on, why the the freshly freed gal is in, quote-unquote, the slammer, and uh, what's up with this person and her voice that feels off for some reason. I don't know what it is. Maybe it doesn't fit the character. Maybe it does. I, I'm not sure. Either way, it sounds good. It just seems strange. Something's going on with my head. That doesn't fit for me. But this guy... Uh, Iron Mask? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what his deal is, but I mean, a lo lot of questions. A lot of questions I have after just a few minutes of playing now. Well, we have some of the story beats there. The world created or destroyed or enslaved or whatever you want to call it. Uh, interesting. Interesting stuff. Anyway, folks, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game information on the developer, any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video, just like always, there's going to be links for you. Subscribe, like, share, you know the score for YouTube, guys and gals. And until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.